In this film, you will see a sequence of movements constituting a rather long dance phrase in modern style. And then I shall teach it to you by breaking it down into many short segments, which can be practiced over and over again as less complicated exercises. This is not a film to teach beginners, but to help students and teachers that have had basic training in elementary technique. Solid work in plies, tendus, extension, contraction and release, and an awareness of the principles of body balance and alignment are essential for deriving benefit from this teaching film. I hope it will be stimulating to more advanced students and their teachers in that it provides a longer and more intricate movement study than is usually found in the daily class work. Now you are seeing the dancers warming themselves up, practicing the elementary movements just mentioned. After they have demonstrated the entire dance phrase, I shall proceed to teach one by one the component parts of the phrase plus exercises that contribute to developing the necessary skills. Needless to say, that although the exercises in the film are demonstrated and taught on one side only, they should all be performed an equal number of times and with equal concentration and effort on the other side as well. Parallel brushes stand well with the body balance, hips, rib cage, head in line over the feet and with the legs parallel. Slide the foot to second position as in regular tendus, 
pointing the foot, stretching the ankle, but keep the legs absolutely parallel. Do this four times. On the other side, brush out on one, plie parallel on two, keeping the body carefully centered on the supporting leg. The working leg stretches straight and longer. Rise away from the lengthening leg on three and close on four. Do this twice. Alternating legs. Repeat brush, plie. Then lift the working foot from the floor by simply bending the knee, keeping the thigh in place. Stretch both legs and close. Do this twice. Now the same thing, but with contraction. Slide one, plie two, contract three, close four. Add the contraction of the body when the foot lifts, causing a slight turning around the vertical axis of the body. The head in opposition to this turning and slightly lifted with the throat open. Be careful to keep the legs parallel and the working leg to the side. The contraction of the body makes the leg want to move forward. This position is very characteristic of the movements in the sequence and will be referred to many times. Start with the body very lifted, the right foot pointed in second position. Plie one, rond de jambe two, descending three, rising four, parallel five, turn out six. Do this to each side. After the plie in second, sweep the leg around the back and keep on crossing it farther and farther until both feet are almost on a line like a cross second. Keep the back straight and vertical and descend with the weight very far back, as far back as you can balance. Keep the center of the body between the two legs. Let the weight descend with control as in any plie. The knees never touch the floor. The buttocks barely touch and immediately the rise begins. Now, although you have tried to stay turned out, the legs in sitting have become parallel, and so after reaching second again, turn them out again. If because of lack of stretch in the Achilles tendon, you are unable to descend with both feet on the walk, then it will be necessary to take all the weight on the front foot for an instant in order to turn the foot over to complete the sit, and the same on the rise. You can practice sits at the bar by starting with your back to the bar and with the legs in second. Then turn toward the bar so that the legs become crossed very high and use the bar to help you maintain your balance as you descend with the weight quite far back and the back vertical.
Now the same sit, but with contraction. Rise into parallel second. Jete, and sit again. Pull up, kneel, stretch the leg behind you, lift it. Into penche arabesque onto the right elbow. Cross the lifted leg more and more and let it spin you into a wide kneel. Keep turning the back in opposition, increasing the sense of spiral until you rise in fourth and draw the leg up into a high kick and balance. Plie. Cross to the back. Contract, increasing the opposition. Rise into parallel second. Plie. Turn up. Between the sit and the rise, make the most of the play around the center. Contract, twist, release, contract, take off, sit and rise, and in. Stretch up, kneel, take the leg back, stretch it, up, 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 catch. Let it pull you around into a wide fourth, and draw the leg up, and balance. Practice for the wide jeté in second. Side, back, side, jeté, land. Side, back, side, second, land. Add the sit and contract and sit. Parallel second and sit. High kicks at the bar. Plie in second, contract and keep the movement from pushing forward into the knees. Release and straight. Plie, contract, shift the weight, balance and center. Plie, contract, keep the knee side, shift the weight and hold the balance. Contraction draws the foot to the ankle and then to the knee. Catch the leg over the shin and under the ankle. Release, then straighten the leg in second. Take it back and down. Repeat. Check that the supporting leg stays turned out, the weight out of the knee, both sides of the body equally contracted. Straighten, second, back and down all at once. Contraction, lift the leg to the back, bring it around parallel to the side, across the front to the wrist. Release and let it swing second. Take it back and down. Keep the body scooped out hollow and the knee turned in toward the torso. Do not move the hand to meet the foot. Rather, make the contraction bring the foot to the hand. Turn out and let the leg swing easily open. Start the same. Then release and turn out. Fuete into penche arabesque. Stretch more and more. Fall and catch it in a kneel. Turn parallel second. Hang and fall. Swing the leg back. Stretch it. Turn it out. Bring it in and rise.
In order to control the movement between the penche arabesque and the kneel, the body must lift sharply and strongly up out of the penche with a contraction, and the inside of the thighs must grip together to support the kneel. Practice this by moving the weight forward, catching it in contraction, kneel, release, and step back. Do this four times. Contract, release, step back, weight forward, catch it, grip, release, Step back, forward contract, release, and back. And then spin on the right knee, start turning in release. Finish it in contraction, legs parallel, second. Hang there and then sweep down to the floor in a fall, still contracted. Swing the leg behind, rise through the back, turn. Pull the leg into you with a contraction, do not sit. Turn and rise. Step draws, traveling side. Start with the body very lifted, the weight on straight right leg, right foot flat, left foot on the walk, and the feet together. The body pulls up so high that the back lifts into a side bend. Let the weight fall into a wide step and immediately close the feet together. Keep the gaze away from the direction in which you're traveling. Make a turn to reverse your direction. The lifted heel presses down into the floor and the back quickly bends and swings around to the other side. Heel down, feet together, down and together. Two distinct efforts to stretch between the legs when you attack the second position. Turn. Split, split, and together. Turn. Split, split, and together. A partner can help you do this by catching you for a moment. Turn. Split, split, catch it, pull. Knee crawl starting from fourth position. Body stretches and leans to the side. Right foot draws across the left knee. Contract and make a half turn to parallel second. Weight entirely on the left knee. Notice that the knee lifts slightly from the floor while turning. Knee up. Finish fourth. Lean way out to the side, body stretched high through the hip line, don't sit. Contract and lift the knee from the floor, shift the weight entirely to the left leg. Right foot is free, no weight on it. Stretch very high, don't sit. Contract, shift the weight to the left leg and up and forth. Crawl, finishing to the back diagonal, lunging into wide, deep fourth position. Opposition through the back and arm will help you rise. Let it come full circle and it will turn you in the opposite direction. Shift the weight forward. Again, forward, turn, circle the body. Drop side in contraction, glissade side to fifth, hold. Turn with contraction, drop on the diagonal, change release and rise.
Leaning kneels. Contract and turn the hip joints to the diagonal. Stretch over and drop. Release to the other side and rise. Legs cross very high. Both hips front. Lean way out. Back straight. Shoulders level and plie into kneel. Keep the hip joints stretched straight as in the knee crawl. Center by letting the hip joints bend and rise. In this exercise, make a point of consciously and continuously moving the weight backwards through space. Legs parallel, shift the weight back and catch it with the contraction foot on the walk, hips twisting to the back. Fall into release, body health centered, high, hips front. Repeat contraction, catch, release. Be careful that the legs remain always parallel in spite of the twisting hips. Keep the release very centered, body drawn together, never arched. Now make a combination of the last several exercises you have learned. Enter with three archaic contractions. Third one finishes with a sit. Then knee crawl in a circle into a lunging kneel. Rise and turn. Side extension. Turn. Drop side in a contraction. Here you see it again, extension, turn, drop side in contraction, glissade to fifth, one leaning kneel, body drops, changes, hold, second, legs cross very high, body stretched through the hip line, lean way out to the side, perch, exit with tilt, and step draw. Preparation for split falls. Throughout the entire sequence, stay forward over the floor as much as possible. Never come upright. Start in fourth position, legs in a square. Contract, pull around through the hips over the back leg. Release with the hip down, and then let it come up, body front. Do this twice. Now turn farther to the back in the release. Try to turn the front of the torso to the back wall. Do this twice. The body keeps turning farther and farther to the back until it falls suspended over the floor. The back leg swings out and up to shoulder level. Both legs stretched. Swing the leg hard behind you and bend both knees at the moment of contraction. Contract, two, three, forward, fall. Swing the leg three, contract. Now the same fall, but make a half turn on the recovery.
swing the leg more strongly back and make it spin you. Be careful. Stay forward over the floor and keep the weight out of the back knee. Low split fall from standing position, two step draws, and a half turn. Continue the turning impetus and wring out the entire upper back full circle. Slide out, stretching wide between the legs, reach to the floor with the right thigh, weight on right elbow. Swing the left leg back, kneel, rise, stretch the leg behind to turn, stand in attitude. Turn. Continue turning through the upper back. Be sure the head completes the turn. Stretch wide. Reach with the thigh. Body suspended. Leg back. Rise. Stretch the knee and turn it out. And stand in attitude. <laughs> Thank you. 